Well, guess when you thought things couldn't get better, they get really better. <laughs> all right everybody welcome back to the channel um this video wasn't supposed to happen today but it is um my dentist's office called me yesterday while we were in the checkout at Kroger. Uh, and as the receptionist and I were talking, she said that my dentures had come back today. And she said, but wait, let me double check first before I say that. So I was on hold. My wife's like, who the hell is on the phone? I'm like, it's Corner Dental. After a few moments, she gets back on the phone and she says, yes, your dentures are back. So can we go ahead and reschedule you for tomorrow at 3.30? And I'm like, hell yeah. But of course, tomorrow, which is now today, also happened to be payday. But since we took care of the groceries yesterday, the things we had to do today were was actually spend actual money for things like toilet paper, paper towels, uh, soap, and stuff like that that you can't buy with food stamps. So we got all that done, and then I did my 3.30 appointment, and I do have my dentures in front of me, but things have changed. Um, I tried to eat a sub sandwich with my dentures, no, that was not happening. Um, so I had to room, and I even put adhesive in to make sure that they would stay while I was eating this Jimmy John's sandwich, which to my credit, I did manage to eat half of the sandwich with my dentures, but then after that, it hurt so bad, I had to take them out. But I know why they hurt. Um... So I have to take my bottom denture and put it in first. I'm going to try to explain this as best I can. But if you look at the denture, okay, for perspective, this is the outer gum. It goes up front. And this is inside my mouth where my tongue is. Now, this piece here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a little... Um, I don't know what to call that, but that's a buildup of acrylic. Um, this is similar to the piece that was in my denture previously that tore a chunk of my gum out. And if you look on the opposite side here, you can see how curved in it is. Um, when I first put it in, it hurt like hell. Because I put it in my mouth and put it in straight. But after eating dinner... I went ahead and put these in some uh, effervescent soak. To go ahead and get cleaned. But I found out one thing. If I put them straight in my mouth, it hurts like hell. Give it a few minutes. And as you can see, I'm already talking. The upper dentures are already stuck. And I've got to get used to it because they fit like a glove. But previously, I used to be able to take my lower denture with my tongue and just push them out of my mouth. Uh, no, I'm trying to, I'm catching the bottom and trying to push up. Uh -uh. The bottom won't come out. So, as I was eating, I did have adhesive in, but obviously when you bite down on the front, on the lower denture, the back wants to kick up, but it doesn't because it gets, it gets stopped and it hurts. Uh, I'm trying to bite through. I can't do it with just, I mean, I may have to put a little extra adhesive at the very back of the denture to lock it down real good. But basically what's going on is 
the upper denture is now completely snug. But this bitch will not come out. In order to take my lower denture out now, I have to grab it from the front. Or actually, I can, instead of using my tongue to put it out, I have to use my lip. Um, ow. Ow. Okay. So, I use my lower lip to lift up the front of the denture and then push it back. And it's out. Because when I run my tongue on my gum line, when you get back to where my molars were on both sides, there's like a ledge that my tongue can go under on both sides in the back. And what happens is these two pieces that are curved, there's a little build up there and that little curve, they hook up under that ledge. So I actually have to take my denture, go a little bit further back, set it down, pull it forward a little bit, and then lower the front. So it's kind of like this. And that's how I have to put it in. If I try to put it, I have to do it in reverse. If I try and put it in, ow, and go straight down, uh-uh. Oh, no. That hurt. Uh. So, I was sitting here going, oh, I'm going to have to get that shaved off because that hurts. But then, once I figured out what it was doing, it's kind of hooked onto my jaw underneath on the inside, but the back won't go up. So, when... When I bite down the front and the back end of the denture tries to kick up, it's hooked into the jawline right there because the acrylic's curved up underneath it. So in order to take them out, I have to lift up the front of the bottom denture and then push it back to clear the, the, that ledge in my jaw so, it'll, so I can pull it up and then back out. So what that means to me is I'm going to leave it just like that. Now that I figured out what's going on, I was like, you know, I need to get these grounds off or something. But now that I figured out what's going on, I'm like, oh, hell no. The bottom denture will never come out of my mouth. Um, and if I grab it, no, it won't twist. That's it. It moves a very little bit when I go side to side. But there's very little play. The upper denture, again, very little play. And you saw what I just did. I threw it in my mouth, and I'm already talking. It's already set. They fit like a glove again, like when I first got them. And, yeah, and this was basically what everybody else would call a hard reline. It was done with acrylic. So... And yeah, I've already eaten pistachio. Pistachios are easy because I just pop it in your mouth and you're chewing them back here on the molar. So I'm not chewing up front. So what I think is going to have to happen is I'm just going to have to get used to that curved piece of acrylic that goes up underneath the jawline and hooks on, which I actually think is kind of cool. Because there's no way my bottom denture is coming out. It's got to go up and then back first in order to clear that jaw section back there that it's hooked up under. So there's no way. Uh, uh, I can't pull them straight up. No, I can't. I, I can't take them out and put them in the way I did prior to this reline. But like I said, once I figured out what's going on, I'm like, oh, we're going to leave it just like it is. It does hurt a lot when I try and bite through something with my with the front end the front teeth because like I said it tries to kick up and those hooks dig up into my jawline and it hurts but I think over time I can build up I don't want to say a top to yeah tolerance actually is probably the word I can probably build up a tolerance to the pain to the point where I get used to it and it no longer hurts and I can probably go adhesive free like I am right now. There's no adhesive. Obviously, I'm taking them out of my mouth and put them right back in. But I'm friggin' happy as hell because I got my teeth back and they fit like a glob. 
Um, and like I said in one of my previews, man, your teeth look. I <laughs> see it fell. <laughs> it fell because I put too much pressure on the fake. <laughs> man, your teeth look fake. But yeah, the upper, I mean, my last attempt with these dentures was just, I can't even push the upper down right now. I'm trying to push it down with my lip. No, not going. So I'm happy I have them back. I can eat pistachios. I've already eaten a few. I got four more bags yesterday. I've got some Pringles. I've got some Doritos. Oh, baby. I get to hear the satisfying crunch of chips as I actually eat them. But yeah, like I said, I was e able to eat half of that sub sandwich with my dentures in, but the pain, because I really didn't know or understand at the time what was going on. It was after I ate and then put them back in that I started to mess with them and see what was going on. But I like this. There's no way the lower dentures can come out of my mouth. Not unless I go. But I got to be careful. Ow, ow. Okay. I got to be careful how I put them back in because it's got to go backwards a little bit and then down. And then it can slide forward and it'll sit. If I just try and put them in and straight down, it's going to hurt like hell. Because it's got a hook on that jaw. I like it. I don't think it was done on purpose. I think it was just a happy coincidence that that occurred. But I like it. Because now I don't have to worry about the lower denture falling out. I don't need adhesive at all to talk, drink, or smoke at all. And like I said, I think if I just work with it, I can build up a tolerance to the pain of eating. I guess to start with, I'll just have to make sure I put some extra adhesive right there at the very back on both sides. And just go, and just keep my teeth clenched for a good bit and make sure that adhesive sets way back there. But then again, you know, I just got my dentures back and I'm going after a, a sub sandwich from Jimmy John's right out of the gate. Hey. I ate half of it with my dentures before I had to actually quit and take them out and finish without. But, yeah. But it's just going to take some getting used to. But I like the way it works. I like the fact that this bottom denture is not going to just come flying out of my mouth because it's hooked into my jaw. Bravo. And the upper, I can feel the suction all the way around. And it's not going anywhere. So, I'm happy. I got my my dentures back, what, five, five days early? I wasn't supposed to get my dentures back until Monday. But when they came in yesterday, they called and said, oh, yeah, they did come in. Let's reschedule you for tomorrow, which is today, obviously. So got my teeth back. I'm freaking happy. Uh, they fit. Like a glove. I'm glad it was a hard realign. Um, at this stage in the game, what, September, we're going into October? October, November, December 4 will make a year since I had my teeth extracted. So, just a little over two months away, and I'll hit the one-year mark for my extraction. And from what I've read, what I've heard, and what I've been told, you don't... With this kind of an extraction, it takes up to a year to fully heal. So I am what? Just about 10 months, almost 10 months into the healing process. Like I said, December 4th makes a year. And now, as it stands, three years from the 11th, I guess now. Because these were sent in September 11th. So that means September 11th of 2023. <laughs> I can get these relined again with hard reline. But 
since I'm so close to that year mark, personally, I'm not really expecting a whole lot of major changes to the contours of my mouth now. So I think my dentures will be good to go for quite some time to come. And if not, there's always denture fit. But for right now, they fit like a glove. I don't need adhesive. And that's really all I got to say. And I'm actually glad I got to do this video way earlier than planned. So I will keep you updated on what's going on with my mouth. So until then, peace.